Hey guys, we're going to jump right into the tutorial. Go ahead and uh, put foundation on and conceal like you normally would. Definitely conceal underneath your eyes. Now we're going to apply some bronzer. You want to just apply it and contour your cheekbone. Warm up your face a bit. Go underneath the jawline and just blend it out real nicely. I'm also going to take a shimmery bronzer and I'm going to highlight my cheekbone with it. It's just going to give you an extra nice glow to your face. Now I'm going to apply some blush. I'm using a very natural shade, just putting it right on my the apples of my cheeks and blending it out. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with a taupey brown. If you have dark hair, you want to go two shades lighter to fill in your brows. If you have light hair, you want to go two shades darker. Now I'm going to apply some brow gel, keep my brow hair in place. Next I'm going to prime my lids. I'm also going to use a cream shadow just so my powdered shadows can stick onto my lid a little bit better. And I'm using a bit of a dark gray, but you can use whatever color. There's going to be shadows covering it anyways. Now I'm taking a nice shimmery taupe brown and I'm going to apply that on my inner half of my lid. Now I'm going to take a deeper taupey brown and I'm going to just blend that right out into the outer edge and swoop it inwards. You want to go just above your crease and blend it out. I'm going to take a bit of black with a smaller defining brush and I'm going to define my outer V. This should go right into your crease if you don't have a crease you should follow along your eye socket. It should sink right in. Make sure to blend it all out so the black isn't so harsh. It should look very subtle. Now I'm taking a neutral shimmery champagne warm color. I'm going to highlight my brow bone with it. Of course, make sure to blend. Taking that deep taupe brown again, I'm just going to line right underneath about two thirds of the way in. Take some black and just go right on the outer edge. Now I'm taking a shimmery champagne color and I'm going to highlight my inner tear duct with it. Now I'm going to line my upper lash line, trying to go in between my lashes as best as possible. In swift motions. I'm also going to wing it out just a bit. Now I'm going to take my black shadow and set it and deepen the color even more and help define that wing. I'm also going to line my waterline with my black eyeliner. Of course, curl your lashes. Apply mascara. 
feel free to add false lashes if you want your lashes to be extra dramatic. Also, put mascara on your bottom lashes. Now I'm going to line my lips with a clear lip liner. You get this basically just serves as like a primer or base for my lips so my lip color can stay longer, stay on longer. It's nice and easy. You can't mess up with that one. And we're going to finish off with peachy nude lips. I'm just applying a very frosty nude color. And I'm going to finish it off with a bright coral lip gloss to warm up the look. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this look. Of course, there's going to be pictures coming right up afterwards, and all the products I use will be listed to your right in that description box. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.